What is up you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and I am back with another video. Now today we are going to talk about unprogramming your mind from past traumas or past versions of yourself to become this new and evolved version of you. I had this request from my one of my subscribers on my last video that I posted about a reprogramming your mind. And honestly, this was a great, I loved what my subscriber had commented because I was like, wow, you know, not a lot of people know how to reprogram their mind, how to unlearn un like, you know, unhealthy habits or uh, past habits or past traumas, how they've evolved and learned to just basically it becomes part of your personality. It becomes a habit of how you use, how you are, you know, because you learned this in your past. So unlearning or unprogramming your mind, that is what we're going to talk about today. Now, I would say the very first thing to start with, with just unprogramming your mind, the very, just the basic key is positive affirmations. There's YouTube videos. You can write positive affirmations that you would like new beliefs about yourself and you repeat them to yourself every day. Start off with 21 to 30 days because that's what I did. When I first started changing my mind and how it thought about itself and its beliefs and its, and its own self beliefs, you have to write down some positive affirmations you want to reprogram. If you feel like you're not productive enough. Be like, I am in a, I am a productive person, you know, or if you feel like you're not confident, I am beautiful. And those affirmations really change. <sighs> Jesus, why I guess that? Those type of affirmations change the neural transmitters in your brain that have been so used to thinking like, oh, I don't feel good. I'm ugly or da 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 da. And you change it slowly over time. Now it doesn't happen right away. You got to understand reprogramming your mind takes years. It takes years. Some people, it may take one. Some people may take two, three, four, five. It takes a lifetime to reprogram years, you know, years that you have learned that this is the behavior that you should be behaving or this is the belief that I have about myself. And if you believe this for over 18 years, it's going to take a couple years before you get to a mindset, you know, where you start reprogramming your mind. Sometimes it takes a couple months, depending on how dedicated you are into changing your mindset it is you have to be willing to reprogram it and just delete everything you felt about yourself every especially everything negative you know so positive affirmations whether it's writing down in the journal positive affirmations listening to youtube videos of positive affirmations gratitude and whatnot second meditation in the morning you want to at least give yourself five to ten minutes a day to meditate in the morning and be present, be here and now, be aware with yourself and then sit with yourself. Sit with those negative thoughts. See the negative thoughts coming and question them. You have to be able to, you have to be willing to question yourself. Quest, question your thoughts. Why am I thinking this? Why is it? Question everything. Question your thoughts while you're sitting there meditating. Question why does this come up? you know, and then even if you want to have a journal on the side while you're meditating, know what keeps coming up and then realize that those thoughts are the same thought patterns that you have every single day. And then you're like, okay, I want to change this. So meditation is key to being mindful and being here, being present with yourself. So you're not thinking about those negative thoughts, you know, and then number three is hypnosis. Hypnosis is I I truly believe hypnosis can work. If you have a harder time and you just, you were like, oh man, these, these thought patterns have been more than just 18 years. It has been my whole life. And I don't know how I'm going to change. And you feel like you're stuck between a rock and a hard place. And you feel like hypnosis would work rather than, you know, listening to those affirmations for 21 days or hypnosis, then listening to those affirmations, then that may be beneficial to you to each its own. Everybody is different. So I do believe that hypnosis definitely works and to everyone differently, you know, and, uh, four things I say subliminals. Now, while you're sleeping, I listen to sleeping subliminals, subliminal sounds 
whether that's um, certain frequencies to remove blockages from your brain, your unconscious thoughts, you know, things that you don't see in the now. So while you're sleeping, your mind is reprogramming itself. You can listen to subliminal videos to reprogram your mind from negative thoughts in the, in the middle of the night while you're sleeping and you play that sound. And in the morning, you just feel so rejuvenated. So subliminal sounds help a lot. Subliminal hypnosis. You can do self-hypnosis as well at nighttime to help you erase those negative thought patterns, you know? So those, those for me are like the main key points to starting, you know, and then the rest is just being there, showing up for yourself, showing up for yourself, you know, every single day you want to unlearn these certain thought patterns. You have to show up for yourself, whether that means buying a book to help you, because in order to learn how to reprogram your mind, you have to be willing to educate yourself on how to reprogram your mind. It all starts somewhere. We all start at square one. You know what I'm saying? I'm still learning to reprogram my mind. So, but these are the things that have helped me and I hope that it can help you. So those are my four things that I do to help reprogram my mind. I hope that it gave you some insight. I love y'all and I hope to see you guys in the next video and uh, comment below what you wanna see. Like, share, and click that bell notification to keep getting notified for my videos. Talk to y'all later. Peace.